peace and good evening. I'd like to welcome you back into another edition of the Foul Play Land. As always, I'm your foul player. Um, and try to make this video quick because seemingly I have nine minutes of uh, recording time left on this uh, phone. But uh, <clears throat> this video is regarding a uh, rumor that Jermel Charlo, the younger brother, or the younger twin and smaller twin, of the fighting Charlos, um, <clears throat> that there's uh, some traction heating up regarding him fighting Danny Garcia, and of course, that would take Danny Garcia moving up to 154 pound division uh, to make this fight happen. I think that's a whack fight, but unfortunately, um, speaking from a business sense, it's probably a uh, uh, the most lucrative fight at 154 um, available right now. Um, and I, I even I don't even want to say that. I mean, like, even as much as it might be true, but I'm, I'm if it's more lucrative, quote unquote, it's more lucrative by you know 500 thousand bucks more than the next best option, maybe. But um, and I think. They're gonna race. The, the PVC is gonna race to make that fight, you know. And I think it's a whack fight, you know. On its face, it's a whack fight. Now, people are gonna, uh, you know, if you wanna bring up some um, small, um, you know, odd reason that I haven't thought about while why this fight is dope to try to convince me, um, it's not gonna happen. Um, you know, you want to say that Danny Garcia is a uh, great counter puncher? He is. Um, his great counter punching since he's moved up to 147 hasn't uh, attributed to much in the way of knockouts, similar to what he was doing at 140. Um, but it's um, it's just another. I mean, nobody a month ago was saying, "Man, I wish Danny Garcia fought Jamel Charlo." Danny Garcia was undersized at 147, so he's going to move up to 154 to fight the most dangerous guy at 154 for what reason? I mean, like, you know, and it's, um, it's stupid because Danny Garcia has shown zero throughout his career in terms of, uh, Wanting to fight Bud Crawford And Bud Crawford Did show some willingness In wanting to fight him And I'll tell you straight up I didn't even want to see that fight You know I, I thought Like there was nothing for me to see Like with uh, Bud Crawford Fighting um, Danny Garcia When Bud Crawford was uh, mentioning him I think Bud Crawford was mentioning him Because That, that was already a, a fight that was uh, being talked about for um, Errol Spence in place of fighting uh, Bud Crawford or instead of fighting Bud Crawford. So I think um, Danny Garcia was, I, I mean, uh, Bud Crawford was trying to beat him to the punch, I guess, when he was mentioning Ugas, Danny Garcia as um, potential opponents. And those are whack fights. Um, but the fights that nobody asked for is the fights that we're getting, especially on the PVC side. Like, you know, look at these New York streets, bro. I'm over here like I'm riding on hydraulics. But PVC is the, it, are, are the masters at, um, giving us these fights. Um, and you know, boxing in general is not even like just PVC. Boxing in general is giving us these, um, Bro, if you can see how dirty this shit is, like, uh, around with, like, you know, and that's why I always diss New York. Like, I mean, I, I wish I could turn my camera around so you could see what I'm talking about. Let me see. No, that's probably going to take a picture, but this is some of the dirtiest shit you've ever seen in your life, man. Like, you know, this whole area, like, Hell's Kitchen out here is, like, full of uh, fucking junkies now and, and uh, prostitutes. And it, it wasn't like that, like, not even a year ago. And the girl, like, you know, and I put this in a video before, that the girl selling ass 
around here now, um, you could tell they weren't like hookers probably like six months ago. It's just that they're like moving like girls um, from uh, like shelters, like for battered women and whatnot, into unoccupied hotels that are uh, vacated due to uh, the. Um, the uh, the mega flu, um, and like pimps are coming out here to recruit them, um, you know, because they know that they're they're out here, so uh, they come out here to recruit them and uh, make them ladies of the night. So I guess uh, in some senses uh, that's liberating, but. I think that's uh, enslavement for me. But uh, yeah, going back to what I was saying, the um, the um, you know that that the the boxing is giving us all the fights that we haven't asked for. You know, Mikey Garcia versus Earl Spence. Um, you know, fighters being gun ho about fighting uh, Jake Paul or you know. Um, uh, Mike Tyson versus Holyfield in their 50s. You know, these dudes got to be shot with uh, with liquid aspirin before it's fighting these fights. I mean, like, you know, was I asking for um, that fight? Like, you know, just put Bob Saget to fight, you know, um, Sean Porter next or some shit. Like, you know, and um, I, th I guess people would be more gun-ho about those fights than actually... You know, um, having fights of uh, sustenance that make pure boxing, um, you know, live longer. But, you know, we're going to get celebrity boxing. I mean, I mean, that's the trend. You know, Danny Garcia is a bigger celebrity um, than anybody at 154. So everybody at 154 is going to be chomping at the bit to fight him. But let me know what you guys think. Whack fight. PVC does it again. With that, I'm out.